Hi Blender community, welcome to my channel 10 minute artist. Today we are going to create something really cool which looks like this. We are going to create in almost under 10 minutes. As you all of you already know, we are trying to create something cool within 10 minutes. This is the concept of my channel. We are going to do this with the help of geometry nodes. I tried to cover up everything in 10 minutes. Okay, let's get dive in. First, we need to make a body of our sperm model. I'm just using a simple sphere. With the help of proportional editing, we make overall shape that looks like a sperm head. For tail, I am just extruding the bottom polygons to create tail, moving it just far enough and scale down to make a pointing tail. We have to add some edge loops so we can deform this tail to create a wave like pattern ahead. Alright, to create the middle neck, I use some cube with subsurface modifier and use some proportional editing to create this kind of shape. I'm creating one more copy to duplicating this outer shell and creating the inner egg like shape. Deleting the tail part. This way we have two shapes separately. Alright, moving to the shading part. The inner shell is using just a simple Voronoi texture as a factor of mix node to achieve slightly organic look. And now for the outer shell, one more important trick here. I often use this cool trick to create a thin glass-like material. We zero out everything except IOR which we set to 1 and clear coat value to 5. After this, you will get very thin glass-like effect which looks super cool. We also need uh, a edge glowing effect. To do so, we need a node called Fresnel node. Mix with diffuse so we can control it separately with the mix shader node. For the neck part, just using a simple subsurface settings. And that's it. Our sperm is ready to animate. Alright, moving to the animation part. Just join all the object into one object with Ctrl J. Apply the scale. I'm going to apply a wave modifier. It's affecting in the both directions. We only use X axis in the modifier settings. It's affecting the whole mesh. To limit this, we have to assign a new vertex group to the modifier. After selecting the tail, Assign a vertex weight 1 and rest is 0. To create a gradual fade out in weight, here's a trick. We can use this gradient tool to gradually fade out the weight. Just click and drag. After messing around the settings of wave modifier, we are done with the tail animation. Super easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the main part now, distributing in the geometry node. Open up the geometry node workspace. Take a icosphere. First, we need point distribute node to create a random points and then point instance node to create instance of our sperm model. As we can see, animation is coming with the model. Scale them down a bit using a point scale node. I'm using a align rotation to vector node and setting vector attribute to normal so we can align our instance according to the normal of the sphere. Use join geometry node to join the original sphere mesh back again. Here we go. But how can we move them apart in the direction of sphere normal? To do so, we have to create a new attribute by adding position and normal attribute. We have to add them. Let's name this new attribute pause. Now we need a random value to shift our sperms randomly. We call this new attribute rand. 
we need a point translate node so we can use the new attribute and shift them apart to create a random position in normal directions we have to multiply rand attribute to the pose attribute with attribute vector math here we can see all have been shifted randomly in the direction of normals now if you add any value to this rand attribute all the sperms will move like this we can use this value to animate our sperm but they are now intersecting into the sphere we want them to stop when they reach that certain height how are we going to fix this well we need a attribute clamp node we are going to clamp the value of this random attribute we will clamp this rand attribute when they hit the sphere now they will never penetrate sphere anymore pretty cool mm -hmm. for the rendering side i used a simple backdrop image taken from pixabay.com which is a very cool site every 3d artist must visit it a simple studio hdr setup for the environment as we all can guess hdr heaven i created a simple subsurface material a reddish tint wait a reddish okay all right i placed the light and it's near to done we are going to animate this value node we have created earlier it's a simple keyframe animation a value to animate the sperm coming to the cell and just like any other animation we have to use a great depth of field to create a nice cinematic look all right to fill the scene i just duplicate and create one more copy of the cell and the best part is animation and the geometry node setup comes with it pretty cool and the rest is just render this one out and save this and you will get a pretty cool animation seriously the blender is becoming so powerful that any individual can create a stunning 3d in just minutes that's it in this video we'll see you soon thanks for watching bye bye